Hello and welcome to the Landscape Inside Out video about the preview and the installation. But before I begin, I'd like to hear, say some really big, big thank yous uh, to uh, Rachel Whitworth, the uh, curator of the exhibition, and also uh, the technical team, uh, Ian, Steve and Andy, and the uh, front of house, uh, Joe and Daniela, and also the MA students, uh, Veronica and Louise. Uh, we all worked uh, as a, an amazing team uh, over the three days of installation, the Wednesday, Thursday and Friday, and then the Saturday uh, was the preview. Ah. Uh, so me and Liz found it very um, um, uh, full. Um, uh, it was very interesting. <laughs> it's very full on, uh, but fun. You know, uh, we really appreciate, you know, the um, opportunity for the exhibition and we really uh, sort of uh, went for it. Um, um, so these are the, this is about the, um, you know, the, the installation and uh, it was, it, you know, it was very uh, amazing, you know, especially on the day of the preview. Absolutely, you know, it's, uh, and also uh, <laughs> there is a brochure that accompanies the exhibition. Uh, and it's got all the paintings in here. So you know, it's got all, all lovely documented uh, artwork there. It's got, you know, uh, every single painting and the information. And also it's got a photo on the back taken by Kieran the Mystery. There it is. So you can look at our ugly mugs whenever you like. Um, it's twelve pounds because um, uh, there's a lot of work gone into this. Okay, um, so there you go. So let's get on with the first day. So the sketch wall, this was on the first day of uh, installation and uh, Ian, Steve and Andy uh, installed uh, the platform. Then uh, me and uh, Louise uh, went on top of the platform and at the top there's a bar and uh, we had fishing wire, like a transparent sort of plastic fishing wire and we threaded that around the bar so it dropped to the floor and then we, so each piece of paper so this paper would have two lines on each side then we had metal clips uh, which would attach to the wire and uh, the paper in front of uh, smaller ones like this some had two uh, the bigger ones might have had four on each side and because uh, they might, you know, they sort of curled, but over a period of time, they all settled and uh, made, you know, they, it worked, basically. <laughs> we weren't entirely sure that it was going to work, but it did. And then um, Liz and uh, Rachel and uh, Veronica at the bottom were passing the sketches up and also, because we can only go to a certain height at the top, they were attaching at the bottom. Now, the first two took quite some time, <laughs> but we soon got, you know, pretty pretty quick at it. And, uh, you know, it took all day, um, but we just, you know, it was, you know, we got it done and it was looking really good. Uh, eventually, when we took the platform away, we thought, you know, Wow, you know, this looks really good. You know, it's this huge wall and each one of those drawings and sketches represents uh, a journey outside into nature drawing. And uh, and it made us realise how much we've done. And that wasn't all of them. You know, we've got plenty more back, back at the studio. So, uh, so when you look at the wall, the sketches, and then you look at the paintings, you can see them uh, 
connecting we use you know we use the sketches to produce the paintings we don't we don't use photographs and so if you you know um, see a painting and you like and you went to the sketches chances are you will see that the sketches we don't you know sometimes use more than one to make one painting you know sort of soak it all in so that was the first day then it was the you know the second day Okay, right, uh, installation of uh, the paintings. So this is day two. So uh, Rachel would bring the paintings up from the basement on a great big uh, trolley uh, from the storeroom. And uh, then we would, you know, take them off and put them in these little form blocks and place them down in order each each wall and we try to took some time just getting them where they're going to go then came the unwrapping in order <laughs> kind of kind of uh, it was it was ordered it was ordered <laughs> so then we'd unwrap them and then uh uh steve uh, Ian and Steve would uh, get these, um, you know, get the stuff together and install them all. And they they put the paintings up, and they just like did it. You know, it was just really amazed how they did it. Really, you know, it, it was so quick, and uh, everything was precise. And you know, it was all level, and uh, it was just uh, real, very cool about it. it was just, and uh, you could see it all um, coming together over this. Uh, over the period of, of the day, you know, and uh, um, yeah, we got them all up in that one day. And you stand back and look at it all, and you, it was starting to look like an exhibition. Uh, you know, we were used to seeing these, um, imagining it, and that these little models were made. So we'd have these little tiny paintings and walls and pieces of paper, and it was like being stood in the model, but it was full size. <laughs> it's great. Uh, yes, me and Liz were, you know, we were really happy about that. So, then the next stage. And this is our photograph, <laughs> uh, the official photograph for the painting, uh, for the exhibition, taken by good friend and professional photographer and filmmaker, uh, Kieran Mystery. Um, he also produced uh, the film on the other side, which he recorded from uh, day one of uh, two years ago when we started producing the work. And he followed us all the way through the two years 
uh, through all the paintings and going out on location and all the other emotions that happened and things that happened along the way. Um, and he recorded it all. I mean, he, he probably had enough footage for, you know, for days, but to fit it all into uh, 40 minutes and you can dip in and out of it or you can watch it all at once. It's really sort of film you can sit there and you realise you watch it, it's really, really well done and we're really, uh, thank you, Kieran. <laughs> but when he was taking this picture, we took loads of pictures. This is on Luzzy Hill, which is at the top of Mosley and he's looking out over Mosley. And um, it got us in all different uh, positions taking pictures. At one moment, she got Liz leaning on, on the pole and I was jumping in the background like mocking and wise. <laughs> oh, people walking, the dogs walking past. And, uh, we do this all the time. All the time. And uh, Kieran had his step ladders and was in the middle of the road holding up the traffic, taking pictures. <laughs> anyway, it was a very quiet lane, so I'm a little control. Uh, anyway, um, so... Um, it's a cracking photo, I think, you know, it's really, it's, <laughs> it's really good. We're, we're very happy with it anyway. Um, uh, so it's, I think it puts a, a face to the artist, you know, when you walk into the exhibition. I, I always liked that when I went going to an exhibition and there's a photograph of the artist. <laughs> And then um, we were doing all the, on, on the third day, we were doing all the little details. So that, you know, uh, installing, uh, you know, the models from the shadow paintings. The, the, I did, I've done these four paintings that are, uh, are called the shadow paintings. And it was, uh, I used models to, to create these. So we're putting them in the cabinet and Liz was putting her sketchbooks in her cabinet. And, uh, you know, that was quite because <laughs> they don't open all, all the way. So you, it's a bit like Jenga with the models trying to get everything in there with them all and over. Also, I've got two of my mum's uh, uh, statue uh, ornaments in there. There's a pot cat and a glass parrot. Sounds like a Monty Python sketch. Um, we also put the uh, titles and the uh, price information under each painting uh, and we painted you know they taped up the mirror plates and paint them and uh, lots of other little things like that and uh, uh, Steve and Andy put the um, finals up the, the writing on the wall is final and the photograph as you come in uh, of uh, uh, of of me and Liz out in the countryside uh, was vinyl as well. So it was lots of little things like that really, which made the exhibition, you know, by this time, you know, the sun was starting to come out because we're doing all this. The first two days, it was just rainy. 
So on on, uh, on the on the Friday, it was it was nice to see the light shining through that uh, through that window. That was, you know, it was, it was getting close, getting close. Then, on the day of the Open, sorry that was a uh, sound of suspense, uh, on the day of the Open, on the 5th, we had very little sleep, um, we got there nice and early, and it was the sun would come out, you know, it was, it was out, and the rays were shining through the <laughs> shining through the walls and it was beautiful. The work looked good, uh, the work in the cabinets and uh, <laughs> you know the, the quote on the David Attenborough quote on the uh, back wall and the sketch wall and the video and it all comes together you know as an exhibition. It looks amazing. And I really love it if you could come down and look at it, you know, before it finishes on the 4th of June. So it was, you know, a couple of hours before the open. The open was at two o'clock. So we just did a little walk around, a bit of a little filming. And uh, Andy was putting all the drinks out and uh, the nibbles, great, you know, it all looked good, you know, it was me, you know. and then pretty much there was a few people coming in because the gallery opened at 10, so some were coming in, it was really good, but at two o'clock, pretty much at that time, everyone just flooded in, <laughs> everyone was just there, and then one the minute, it was uh, very quiet, and the next minute, it was just surrounded by people, uh, 
and was just, you know, it was just like uh, from two o'clock to five, it was just constant, you know, talking and uh, it was really lovely to see everyone's uh, reactions to the paintings, you know, and uh, uh, I, I mean, Liz's work really complemented each other's work, you know, it was, the whole thing looked really good, it all keyed in together and everyone was just, uh, you know, it, it's all right, you can look at photographs, but when you're actually at an exhibition, it looks amazing. And, uh, blow me on trumpet. Uh, that was a terrible trumpet. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so this is like, uh, so I'm recording this, it's Tuesday, so it's the second day it's open. Uh, it's Tuesday, Saturday it's open. Uh, 10 till 5. Um, so, it's sunny out there now, so it'll be sunny in there now. <laughs> uh, we've got uh, events planned for the during the exhibition. Um, but, uh, you know, when you go down, uh, but if you want to uh, contact us, if you want me to walk through, uh, you know, we're more than happy to walk through with people through the exhibition. Where there are official events as well, talks and um, uh, workshops and things like that. So, uh, yes, thank you everybody and thank you Oldham and everyone else uh, who's been helping us, helping us out. Uh, we'll appreciate it and uh, I just want you to enjoy the work. Our idea about the exhibition is to bring that well-being and peace uh, that you can get from countryside into the gallery and uh, that's what we want really and uh, encourage people maybe to go walking uh, or maybe to do some drawing or painting that was great that's great <laughs> uh, if you've got any comments just put it whatever social media uh, platform this is on okay thank you thank you thank you